I, I found some more uh, lifter stuff, LS and small block Chevrolet that I think is interesting and worth talking about. So hang loose, we'll get into it. So specifically, Gatorman makes two drop-in lifters. They make one for a small block Chevrolet and they make one for LS. And they say don't interchange them. The LS one uh, has oil to the wheel and the small block doesn't. And the LS is a GP 1012 and the small block is a GP 1013. So <clears throat> I've been through this a couple times with some customers. So I thought I'd just do a video to make it make sense. And I'm going to talk to Gatorman about it just to firm up some things because I'm not 110% sure why it's that way but I found some interesting stuff so you know originally with the LS um, the LS and the small block had the same lifter so the Vortec if you had a Vortec 350 it, it had a roller cam and then when the early LS's came along they used that same exact lifter same part number whole deal and then later on in life, when they went to the second design, what you know the internet calls the LS7, um, they also, you, you know, if you just go to Chevrolet Place and buy a lifter, that's the lifter you get. And if you buy a uh, like a crate motor, like a racing, you know, like we the 604 deal and some of that stuff, the ZZ350s, any of that also has that same you know LS7 lifter. Uh, in, in that small block. So <clears throat> I didn't really understand why Gatorman will make a different lifter for, for the two engines. So I've got some stuff laid out here and, and we can say so that, so the oil band is moved a little bit. And, and I thought it was odd because I didn't even realize the early LS's and the later LS's, the second design lifter, they also moved the oil band. But what GM did versus what Gatorman did is exactly the opposite. So I really need to put some in a small block and in a LS and just measure the oil hole through the block where it's sitting. Um, but but come on in here and let's and let's look at this deal. So I, I've got them all all lined up here by the wheel. So if you look, so this is an LS lifter a Gatorman LS lifter. So this is a GP 1012. Uh, this is the early uh, small block Chevrolet, or, or I'm late small block, early LS. And if you notice, the oil bands are identical. They're, they're perfectly lined up. So this is Gatorman's LS. This is Chevy's small block Chevrolet, Vortec. All right, so if we come over here, this is the, you know, quote unquote, LS7, the second design, GM lifter. And pretty much the top band is in the same place, but they have lowered the bottom of the oil band. Um, uh, again, why, I don't know, but uh, it, it's kind of odd. So GM went from this to this, and Gatorman went from this to this, which is just backwards from what GM did. So if you look over here, this is the small block one. Can, can you get like right down on them? Yeah. So it, where, where you can get, yeah, like that. So, you know, you can see this band is higher than this band and, and they're saying this is for a small block and why they didn't put oil on the wheel I, on, on the small block, I don't really understand. But I, I just thought it was interesting that and we're using this lifter which is an ls we use them all the time in small blocks and i've never seen an issue and uh and i mean i you know but some people when they see the part number and then they go digging and it and you know it says that these are for ls people get really concerned and then they see gatorman makes one specifically for a small block which i you know again i just don't think that little bit of difference right there is enough to amount to hill of beans and, and obviously it's not if this and this chevrolet sells it to work in this in the same engine i mean that don't mean they're without fault obviously but 
you know, we've seen thousands of these. And two, you know, the band is moved up on this lifter, which is far LS, but if you put it in a, a small block, or even a LS2 would with a with a bigger cam, a higher lift cam, the base circle is going to reduce, so the lifter is going to move down in the bore. So, I mean, just basic critical thinking w would seem like this would be better than this in a performance application, just because we're already dropping the lifter down further in the bore with a higher lift cam. So. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know, but you can see here on the side, this is where they're oiling, this is where they're oiling the wheel through that hole there. And then on the small block one, that doesn't exist. You don't have that option. And, and uh, essentially the body's pretty much the same other than the oil band, but there's just a little bit of difference down here at the wheel, how they, how they finished it off. But other than that, it, it's the same. And one nice thing that they do have is they have an oil hole here where the dog bone or the tray, the tray is, and I haven't seen anybody else do that. So while it's running, it's actually lubricating the tray or, or in the small block, the dog bones. So I, I thought that was a, 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 a neat feature. But, uh, but anyway, hopefully that helps and will you know, m m make it make more sense. But I I'm going to talk to Gatorman and just see why. And then it, at some point, I'll, I'll put some in a block when I got time and figure out where the actual hole, that, the gallery in the block, where it lands in the band. And, and then we can sort of see if there is a problem or there's not a problem. All right. Thank you for watching. Hope that helps.